everyone, we're going to get started here soon. Hey, a little, little sneak peek of uh, next month. There we go. There we go. Welcome to Tech Linkster, everybody. How y'all doing? Yeah. It's, it still feels like summer out there, so you got you to gotta keep the summer vibes going. Uh, all you brave people that you know, came through the rain, thank you for showing up. Uh, if you found us, that's great. There might still be people sprinkling in as they can find us, because it's sometimes difficult. Uh, any, any new folk for the first time? Hey, we got two back there. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining. Uh, for you people who have been here many a time, please go say hi, make them feel welcome. Um, Tonight we have two talks. Just, uh, Jason's going to talk about make files and how they're great. And Francis is going to talk about Blazor and stuff. That's officially the title of the presentation. It's going to be good. If you don't know what they are, you will by the end of the night. That's the great thing about these tech meetups. Uh, there are other tech meetups in the area. If you want to go to techlangster.com, you can find a whole community events page. Uh, some of the other meetup host organizers may be here. Not really, not really. Do you want to talk about CPOSC while we're talking about meetups? Sure. Um, for those of you who are new and may not know what CPOSC is, CPOSC is uh, Central Pennsylvania Open Source Conference. It's our kind of local tech conference. Um, so we'll be having that on Saturday, April 26th. And next meetup, we'll be having a theme review. So make sure you come out to the lightning talks and uh, check that out. Some of the other uh, meetups you will find there on techlangster.com are Open Coffee or Pub Standards, which are more social than this, no presentations. Uh, they're regular meetups. There are also, uh, there was an AI meetup that's on hiatus for a bit. What else is there? Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch, thank you. And a Linux users group. So all manner of things. Check the calendar. Oh, yeah, crush your side projects. If you just want to go and hack every other Monday at uh, the Burley Bar, that's a fun little time. Uh, all of the times and events for those things are on the calendar, so check it out. Um, as Cody mentioned, right here next month, we're having our end of the year bash. Gets into the holidays with Thanksgiving and Christmas, so we like to end the year with a bang. Uh, that is October 24th. Mark it on your calendar, literally right now. We're going to do another evening of lightning talks. So we did it last year, it was a whole lot of fun. Uh, no long. Uh, tech presentations, just five minute talks. If you don't know what a lightning talk is, uh, I have a, a lightning talk last year that explains what lightning talks are. You can find it on our YouTube channel. It's pretty great. Uh, and I'm going to give an example of one right now. Uh, so I'm going to start my little timer here just so I don't go over time. Hi all, I'm Zach Fetter. I'm giving a lightning talk tonight uh, about why you should not give a lightning talk. So, uh, you know, if you are like on the fence about any of this and don't, you're not sure if you want to do it or not, uh, this is for you, okay? So number one, you suffer from astrophobia. Uh, you have a fear of lightning. Uh, we will probably say the word lightning a few times. I know I probably should have had like a trigger warning for this, um, but if this is like causing you to, you know, bust out in like cold sweats and everything, uh, yeah, don't come to lightning talks. We will be talking about lightning a few times. Thunder, will and maybe it's adjacent, probably won't touch it. Don't worry about that. Uh, number two, you speak Entish. Uh, we, as we all know, anything important takes a long time to say in Entish. Um, we will be very hasty. Uh, so this is definitely like a Hobbit-focused meetup. Uh, we will need to speak quickly to get your point across. You only have five minutes to do so. Uh, I skipped one. Number three, uh, you like don't have a job, a hobby, literally no interests at all. Nothing excites you ever, okay? You don't want to do a tech talk about anything uh, because there is nothing then, right? Like, so if you have like an interest, you, you could do one, but if you don't have any interests, please uh, avoid that just for our sake. Uh, number four, you really, really, really like your job, but also you have this need to never say no, right? So like if you come up here and you share your expertise and your knowledge and somebody, yeah, I can't guarantee that no one's going to come up to you and you know, not offer you a job. It can happen uh, because they kind of see what you do and you're, you're out there showing yourself and they're like, I, I like that. I like what that person's doing. They should come work for me. Uh, but you can't say no because you really like your job. Avoid the temptation. Stay home. 
Uh, number five, you detest all manner of fun, okay? Uh, there, are, there is a time and a place for formal, stodgy corporate events. This is not one of them. There's a gong, for God's sakes. We will be having some fun, so if you, you know, don't like that, be a little puritanical, it's fine. Do you do you, stay home. Uh, number six, you don't want to ruin your, your year's worth of cultivated image of being the mysterious loner, all right? We all know Ali Sheedy was great, and then the Breakfast Club happened, and then like she got friends. Uh, so if you you know don't want friends, don't you know share about yourself, I guess. Uh, number seven, you're allergic to applause. Uh, this is a very rare condition, but it can happen. Uh, I don't know about you all, but I've let my um, uh, life-saving merit badge lapse. Uh, I haven't got my CPR certification in a while. I don't think Indy Res has an EpiPen over there. Uh, so please, for your own health and safety, stay home. Number eight, you don't want to set the bar too high, okay? So one of the problems that could happen here is, is you could just come in here and just knock it out of the park. Give the best presentation. And that makes the rest of us look bad. Uh, you don't want to do that. Please come in with the lowest of the bar. Uh, and that way, you know, this is a community event. You can make us look good. Number nine, you only communicate during uh, using interpretive dance. Uh, this is a lightning talk, again. Um, we're still paying the legal bills from the last time we allowed this. Uh, again, legal stuff, I'm not allowed to talk about it. Um, but, you know, we don't have time for the, the smoke machine and uh, light show. Uh, uh, not again. Number ten, you're in the witness protection program. Uh, this is, you're going to say who you are when you come up here and maybe share some things about you. Uh, we don't want to blow your cover. Uh, this, so this is another PSA, health and safety announcement. Please stay home, you know, go to that nice new suburban home they got you and, and just lie low for a bit. Uh, number 11, you took a vow of silence. Lightning talk, silence, is self-explanatory. Number 12, you only like really, really, really high pressure situations. Uh, we will not have anybody, you know, Gordy, Gordon Ramsay-ing it up here. Uh, so if you, if you really need that to thrive in an environment, this is not for you. It'll be pretty low stakes. Uh, number 13, you're an exact clone of somebody already giving a talk that happened earlier in the evening. Uh, there's some smart people in this room. I'm sure one of you has figured out human cloning. Uh, if, please do not get your clone to sign up and give the exact same talk again. It lets somebody else in the room speak, for God's sakes. Uh, so that's my 13 reasons why you should not do a lightning talk. Uh, so as long as none of those apply to you, uh, yeah, I guess you can, I guess you can sign up. Um, we'll have a sign-up sheet uh, floating around, probably just digitally at this point, because I didn't bring a piece of paper. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you want to sign up and give a lightning talk, you can talk to me, you can talk to Joshua, and we'll get you on the schedule. There's going to be a lot of good ones, and I think it's going to be a blast. Oh, ho, ho, ho.